first guest is filmmaker, journalist, radio host James Farr. James is a, a resident of Pasadena. He's a husband, a father, a social activist, a social entrepreneur, and he has made an outstanding film about a very troubling incident that you may know about involving a young Pasadena resident and the Pasadena police that took place almost one year ago where there was uh, a use of force in the opinion of a lot of folks and excessive use of force. So James, welcome and we're looking forward to this video that you've made. Uh, our second guest is a friend and a colleague, Skip Hickenbottom. James, we're especially grateful to you for coming tonight and taking the time to be with us. James lost his father just under a week ago, so he's in mourning, but he said in order to be here, he would honor his father because his father would have had the same message. And you can see James and his father look alike, and there's a picture of James' father here. He's a really handsome guy. So, James, come on up. Thank you. Many of us have to live our lives dealing with the consequences for something that we did not start, work, and we finish. We're going to talk a little bit for just a little bit today, this evening, tonight, if you will, about the experience of making this film. It's not going to be a film school class, so I'm not going to talk a whole lot about the process of making a film. But what I will share with you, usually when you make a film, you have multiple assets to help tell the story. I was left with a film of two minutes and 26 seconds that I had to expand out into a 30 minute uh, presentation and then later into some other. Uh, so when my editor and I first sat down to, to work on this project, we first day, we had to take a break. Because as you're watching this assault or an attempted murder as I have called this, this piece, it got to a point to where I know the cadence of how bad they whipped Chris's ass. So I had to replay that over and over and over over for about 35 to almost 40 hours. That became seared in my memory. That was traumatizing. That was triggering. That was very difficult to watch. And now that we could produce this piece, we've had a chance to show it a few times here in town. And people have, you know, been in that rage phase. But they haven't done anything. None of you have done anything, so I'm going to invite you to do something. When we get into our discussion, I'm going to update you on some things that are happening with this case that have not been made public yet. What I will tell you, it is business as usual down on Garfield. Mm -hmm. And the value of a life of an African-American young man seems to have little value. Rabbi read off a list of names. 